When I first put on this Dermablend Flawless Creator Foundation Drops on my face and moved it around a little bit, I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to hate this. But then after it was on and I had a day with it, I actually liked it and I'll tell you why. Hi, I'm Glory B, and this is Glory B TV, a lifestyle channel for mature women who want to look fabulous, feel amazing, and age gracefully. I decided to try the Dermablend Flawless Creator Foundation Drops, and like I said at the beginning of the clip, at first I hated it, but that only lasted a short time. I'm going to show you why. I'm going to put it on my skin. Make sure to check out the links in the description box below in order to find different places where this is sold. But let's get right to the clip where I start with a fresh face. I'm all ready with a clean face. Clip my hair back. And I am actually going to start with some under eye corrector by Pixie. And I'll put that on really fast before I start the drops. Now for the Dermablend Foundation Drops. This is in the color 15C. I saw someone else online using the next color lighter and it was so light. I thought that is just crazy light, but I did buy it at Ulta and if the color's wrong, you can always return it. I thought I was gonna return it after I first put it on my face. I'm gonna shake it up a little bit. It's so liquidy. I usually like a thicker, foundation that stays where I put it. And yeah, they have this dropper bottle, but you can't get much in the dropper. I mean, there's, even though I've been squeezing it, <laughs> there's not much in it. And as you see, I'm gonna put some on my forehead and you'll see it, it usually just starts to drip down. And this is where I first thought, oh gosh, I'm gonna hate, this. see, it's already empty. So this is kind of annoying. I mean, if it's liquid, it should work in their own designed dropper bottle, right? The dropper should work. I mean, maybe it's good that I, I'm not getting a ton of product in there because then it'd be all over dripping onto the table or whatever you're using. Okay, so because it's so liquidy, I thought, well, maybe I'd need more, you know, even whatever's on the side of the dropper. And then I thought before I use my brush, I'm just gonna smear it around with my fingers. And this is where I really hated it. I mean, it was just, it was just so liquidy, almost feeling oily. It has an oily, but maybe there's a serum in it. I don't know. Because then later in the day, it didn't seem so, lit. I mean, look at this, this is, this is, what I was thinking, oh my gosh, I'm gonna hate this. So then I took my brush, it's an e.l.f. brush. I'll have it linked in the description box below, it's flat. And I do better with a brush than I do with a sponge. So I'm just gonna do this all over. And you can now see that a little bit of foundation went a long way. And still at this point, the first time I used it, I wasn't sure if I liked it. I thought, well, maybe the color's not right. I mean, even looking at myself in the monitor, it's kind of creepy looking. Like I'm getting ready to be in a play <laughs> and I'm playing a ghost or something. But once I got it on, I thought, well, all right, let me put on the rest of my makeup and I'll see how I like it after I have all my makeup on. And then, and as you can see, the little bit that was on my brush, I'm even getting on my eyes, which you can do or not. It's up to you. Bring it down my neck just a little bit. 
but later in the day it still looked good. So now that I have it all on, and you've seen how little I put on, and it was more than enough, really, to get right into my hairline. I'm going to go put on the rest of my makeup, and I'll be right back. So here's the finished product after all of my makeup is on. I actually like how it looks. It actually has just... A little bit of glow now in my monitor I'm looking kind of pasty white in my mirror I'm not so what I'm gonna do is pan the camera back so that my face is not like real big so here you get a little bit more of a normal look at my face instead of being all close up I'm not sure, do you see a little bit of glow on here? Actually, when I wore this the first time, even later in the day, it still looked really good. So it didn't have an oily residue. It didn't, even now, um, of course, I put a little bit of powder on, a tiny bit, but it feels okay. And it's just been a very short time, but this is lasting all day and it's looking pretty good. I would actually call it full coverage, even though it went on liquidy, which usually means it's not going to be full coverage. I would call it full coverage. So if you're looking for something that's full coverage and your skin is more on the dry side, I think that this brand from Derma Blend, which comes, it comes in a little box, would be a good one to try. It is a little pricey. It's $40 for one ounce right now, but check it out. You can click in the description box to go to, I'll see if I can find a couple different places that sell it and then check out one of my other videos by clicking its image on the right side of your screen and I'll see you in the next video.